Here we go again, put her full mass. Another school teacher accused of inappropriate, illicit actions with a student. Hell of a thing, South Carolina, Reagan Anderson. A former teacher was arrested Wednesday for preying on a 17 year old high school football player. The 27 year old married mother of two is facing two counts of sexual battery on a Holly Hill Academy student for the alleged abuse. That's according to WCSC News. The first two allegations occurred based on the allegations occurred on October 22nd on Bunch Ford Road. That's according to an arrest warrant obtained. By the local news. The second incident happened in a parking lot on October 28th outside of a pizza hut. Um, Anderson also allegedly sent the teen nude photos on Snapchat. That's evidence. Um, rumors soon began swirling, and the school contacted the sheriff's office on November 8th. The judge set Anderson's bond at a whopping $2,500 and told her not to have any contact with the victim or his family. She was released with a GPS monitor. The same day, the statement from the victim's mother, quote, a trusted coach, teacher, and friend that abused our trust and violated her oath as an educator. She has ruined our son's life. The teen's mother read from a statement in court. He should be 100% focused on being a fun loving football playing young man. But this predator has robbed him of that ability. No young quarterback or athlete is safe in our community. If this woman is free, the outraged mother continued. Statement from the school, Holly Healy Academy, uh, was made aware last week of allegations regarding an inappropriate relationship between a staff member and upper school student. Head of school Brandy Melano wrote in a letter sent to parents. The administration immediately contacted law enforcement. The statement says that Anderson no longer works at the school and the administration is cooperating with the Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office. Based on that bond, ladies and gentlemen, um, the judge who said the bond that judge doesn't take it as seriously as it is. I want you to think about this. What if if a male teacher would have engaged in something the exact same as this allegation? Do you think they get to go home on a $2,500 bond, $2,500 after engaging in such inappropriate relationships, sexual assault on a student under their care in the school system? Hell no. All right, Waz thoughts. Yeah. I. It's terrible. I think the problem for me is the the trust that's now eroded. Yeah. Um, parents send their kids to the school thinking that they're under the protection of trusted teachers, advisors, you know, administrators. Um, that's that's to me that's the tragedy in all this. I honestly think the kid um, is going to be able to recover from having his teacher. But the trust that's been eroded within the community from this woman's indiscretions, like it's hard to recover from that. And it's public school, Dr. Richie. Like, you know, <laughs> this is something that we all need here for, for our kids to go out and be safe in the places that they're being educated. And this woman um, and her indiscretions is it's just a violation. And it sucks that it has to happen this way. Yeah. Uh, and counseling is likely going to be required. Feelings are possibly involved, hearts broken, and then the scrutiny of the public inside of a moment like this in a small community can be detrimental. So we are glad that the mother sees it for what it is and is trying to make sure the proclamation of how extreme it is is echoed. And so we do wish them well.